Newton run leaves a victim with a double shock. First, that someone would crash into his car on a busy Omaha street and then drive off. The second stunner came when he submitted a claim to his insurance company. Mike McKnight has a warning for anyone who uses their own vehicles for deliveries. At Six on Your Side investigates. Earning extra money through DoorDash to pay off the car he just bought. It took a long time to save for this car, and I was excited about it. Corey Peterson suffered a financial blow. The collision did set off both airbags. Delivered by a hit-and-run driver. They're telling me um, about $17,000 worth of damages. Corey has a witness who stayed around. I wanted to help him because it was a clear hit and run with no license plates. Mike Coley told police the hit and run driver wasn't alone. The gentleman kind of looks around and jumps back in his car, realizes it'll go. And the, the 12 year old had to like dive into the car. I thought this kid's gonna come rolling out. So he jumps back in the car just in time. They both close their door and take off. Leaving Corey shocked, but not injured. As it turns out, this hit and run isn't the last shock Corey would have to endure from this crash. He says he has full coverage and submitted a claim, and then he got a response from the insurance company. The former Marine has USAA, which told Corey he should have notified the company about his food deliveries, so the damage claim is denied. I'm learning that there's a special type of insurance to add on to your full coverage insurance, and it's called rideshare gap protection, I believe. I didn't have that, so I, apparently they're, they're telling me that my full coverage does not, will not cover my vehicle. USAA tells me customers who use their personal vehicles for delivery services should ask for a policy review to ensure they have the proper coverage. Corey's mom suggested then he turn to DoorDash for his car repair costs. But now DoorDash is giving pushback and saying, you know, I don't know if it was embedded into the information that they had or what, but for a layperson, you know, you would think that they would give you a heads up and say, you know, you have to have this. They just kept referring him back to his USAA. Well, you know, he's caught between a rock and a hard place now. DoorDash paperwork states damages sustained to a Dasher's vehicle are the Dasher's responsibility. They're not going to cover me. But a hit and run driver is responsible for the crash. So witness Mike Foley hopes his description will help Corey get justice. This guy served our country and he did nothing wrong. He's trying to make a few extra bucks and he, he needs some help. So I just want to say I appreciate that. Yeah. So. Well, thank you yeah. for your service too. Sir. On your side, Mike McKnight, 6 News. DoorDash says all Dashers are provided with occupational insurance to help cover medical expenses if they're injured in an accident. But repairs for the Dasher's car must go through his auto insurance. Uh, Corey Peterson says that leaves him without a car, so he's catching rides with family or friends to his full-time job. He's considering an appeal to the Nebraska Department of Insurance over the claim denial. Well, it's almost